Hello people. Today I'd like to tell you tips in learning kanji because I've I've heard a quite a few people say say learning kanji is a lot of work or I hate kanji because there are thousands of kanji. Yeah, I agree. Learning kanji is also difficult and it takes long long time for Japanese people too so one one simple answer we can I can give you is that we Japanese people even we Japanese people don't just remember one thousand or hundreds of tens of hundreds of kanji just memorizing no we remember of course one reason is we start writing uh, writing learning kanji from elementary school and in junior school, junior high, high school. We learn kanji every day basically. But as a kind of class or as a subject, we learn kanji from elementary school. That's one reason. But we learn uh, kanji in daily life. I think you know it. But how you should learn kanji or how you should study kanji. Don't just Memorize all the kanjis in, in textbooks. So I can tell you something. So I think you know, but kanji has even different kanjis. Kanji, I don't know if, if it's the kanjis, but even different kanji have, so to speak, common parts. So for example, one of the basic kanji, mizu which means water, mizu, you read it, mizu. So this kind of uh, and the, uh, transforms into these parts in other, which is used in with other kanji. For example, uh, with this part, a kanji, this means, yeah, this kunyomi is Nagasu or onyomi is ryu. This kanji can be used with another kanji. Okay. Very typical sample. This one and the mizu. This means uh, this red with ryu sui, meaning water that is flowing like do you see like if you burn your hand wash your hand or cool down your hand with do you see so do you see is kind of water flowing uh, yeah as I said yeah it's, it's water flowing so yeah like from from tap yeah like from tap yeah do you see? Or this kanji, which is red, kawa, or sometimes ko, I think. Kawa, yeah, ko is another reading. Kawa, this means, yeah, maybe you know this means river, stream, but this is, I think this means this is kind of bigger kind of kawa. So, for example, Mississippi River is, I think, written Mississippi. I think Mississippi is this, this one. I don't know. Nile River definitely is this kawa. <coughs> well, for example, another Okay. This means shallow, shallow. The uh, opposite meaning of deep. So shallow river, shallow sea, shallow beach. I don't know. So notice this uses this part, which okay. This part, I believe, is transformed by this kanji, as I said. 
is used in a kanji commonly used with kanji that is related to water basically water so this is this part particularly is called sanzi sanzi as you know this one two three ichi san sanzi zui yeah so there are vi several kanjis that use this part sanzi so that's a way to tell what this kanji means what that kanji means so I'm saying remember kanji or study kanji by category for example another example would be okay just uh, just an example this is ki wood or tree okay as one letter as one character this is wood but with another part this kind of the balance kind of shorten in side way but this is one kanji which is read hayashi or rin uh, lin no this is not ro romaji so lin or hayashi yeah you, you see this is wood or tree but this is hayashi hayashi is uh, like bush where love trees are in the same place so tree would be like this but hayashi would be like this yeah a lot of a lot of hayashi maybe in the in the backyard of your of your, of your home or yeah hayashi and transformed from this kanji is mori mori this is forest more lots of wood or bushes bush yeah mori and this kind of interesting word we have which is red shinrin shinrin yeah lots of lots of trees literally shinrin this means basically this means the same as forest kinda sounds technical term shinrin like cutting down trees in the forest is shinrin basai I'm not sure if I can read that, uh, write that kanji shinrin no I can't here comes the problem funny okay basai yeah, this is the kanji. Yeah, cutting trees in the forest. Jinrin. Basai. Yeah, Jinrin Basai. Don't do Jinrin Basai too much. Alright, so, and uh, notice this part, which comes usually, which comes, I think, all the time, comes. In the left side of kanji, if this if a kanji is made of two parts, right or left, this part is called kihen. So basically, parts that consist of kanji, I mean parts that comes in the left in a kanji, is called hen usually. So this is called a ki hen because this is a hen of ki. Okay. For example, another example would be this character itself is te hand hand. But this would if this becomes a becomes hen hen hen. This is written like this. For example to write a kanji with the hen <coughs> here is uh, one is one kanji okay to write it precisely more precisely yeah this is well you read it oru kunyomi or onyomi would be onyomi is setsu I think it's setsu am I right I think I think and this is okay you know 
origami. Well, origami. So written in kanji, origami is okay. I I write this time this way. Well, here comes another good example of hen. Hen origami. Origami. So this kanji is read kami, but in this case it's read gami, like gami, but usually it's read kami. So this part, this part, left part of this kanji is read ito, it's not read, it's called itohen, because this part is originally a kanji like this, kanji like this. So this means ito, uh, this is, this reads ito, meaning uh, strings, like like what cloth is uh, made from, yeah, string, yeah, ito, 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 like I don't know if there's any, but yeah, those tiny thing, ito, yeah, you see it? Those things are called ito. Yeah, you see this ito. Yeah, so kami is made of kind of ito. I don't know. Uh, I want to say seni. Fiber, yeah, fibers. So, in a sense, ito, which is fiber, and what makes paper with. Kami, paper, fiber to paper. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, uh, I can make this kind of video endlessly, so I can I can give you more examples. But so if you don't want to see, you can stop here. But so I'm basically saying that, telling you the idea that you can you can study kanji more efficiently and more reasonably by studying nandaro categorized kanji don't just remember kanji one of my friends actually told me that she learns she studies kanji by usefulness for example how to write signboards signboard in japanese how to write rows in japanese how to write building in japanese yeah, that's another reason. I'm not. I think that's also a good way to learn, good way to study uh, study kanji. So I'm just giving you an alternative, alternative way to study kanji effectively, and in a way more reasonably. Yeah. Ah, another example I wanted to mention. So, for some reason. Okay. Okay. No. Not for this kanji. This kanji is red tsuki, meaning moon, the moon, that moon in the night sky. But I don't know why, but this kanji is used to write kanji that is related to parts in the body. For example, this is red hai, hai meaning lungs. Or this kanji. Guess what? Guess what this means? This is brain. Red? No. No. Like, no! Don't take my brain! It's mine! I won't be able to think. No. Don't take it away. No. Or. I don't actually. I actually, I don't know about kanji of the body what do you like? well, I I, is, I doesn't use tsuki but I is this is kinda more difficult version of I easier one is this me me no me glasses is Megane. 
メガネ。Or you can also read this 眼鏡。眼鏡。This kanji itself means mirror. So eye mirror. Does it make sense to you? Kind of. It's kind of mirror, right? Mirror. Yeah. You see the reflection. So mirror. メガネ。Eye mirror. メガネ。And、uh, 肝臓 yeah. Kanzo, Kanzo. This I don't know this in English, but this is the organ that pros processes alcohol when you drink alcohol. So if you drink too much alcohol, this body part. Will be bad. So don't drink too much alcohol. Kanzo. Yeah. And、uh, okay. Just randomly. Ah. Hacking ながらさこれビデオ撮るの難しいんじゃない。臓器、臓器、臓器。This means any organs in the body. Could be lungs, could be stomach, could be hearts. Hearts, or you have only one heart, but heart. Ah, by the way, heart in kanji is. Ah,、uh, very bad, Kakijun. 心臓、心臓。なんだっけ、あの、パイレスオブデカリビアンのやつ。デイビー・デイビー・ジョーンズ。ジャック・スパロー。心臓。And E、ストマック。ストマック。ストマック。Is written like this. Yeah, this balance is not so good, but yeah, this is. How it looks like, what it, what it looks like. So, zoki, any organs in the body, commonly, generally. So, this kanji, coming in the right, is, mean, also means, also reads, utsua, which means something like dishes, like those. Dishes. You, you can pour Lucy into it from tap. Yeah, Utsua. Zoki. I don't know if this makes sense or I, to me it doesn't make、uh, any, no, not any, but this doesn't make nice sense but to say to use this kanji for organs in the body. But yeah, Zoki. Zo. So, so, so. Okay, so we have kind of a phrase to say if your mind is generous, or if you are generous, we say something like not something like, but we say this. It's rather o k a or more roughly, casually, they got. Utsua ga oki, utsua ga degai. I want to be a person whose utsua is big. So, utsua literally is this. So, nan tiyo no kana? Nan tiyo no? So, no tatoe to shite, having this in your mind or in yourself, in your inside of you. The bigger the utsua, this thing, Dish like thing, utsua, is in the mind. The more generous you are, utsua ga oki. So you don't want to be a person who has very tiny little utsua that's、uh, not generous. So if you're a man, especially, you want to be a utsua ga oki man. 
that's I think pretty much it. I can't just tell you every single kanji that has common part with other kanji. So I hope you found this video interesting and helpful. So so don't just don't just memorize kanji, hundreds of kanji just by memorizing oh this means book, this means river, this means tree, this means this means rose. No, don't do that. We even we don't do that. Okay? So I hope that was helpful and if you have any question or if you have any anything, request. Well, maybe not request, but if you have any question about kanji, ask me. I am the one for you. No, 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 really. I'm just saying. Bye. I hope. Anyway, I hope. I hope you find this video so interesting, helpful, fun, enjoyable. Thank you for watching. And if you're not subscribed to my video yet, please channel. Please subscribe. Yeah. Bye. Yeah, this means like completely forget not just forget but like completely forget forget and this kind of means leave so forget what you forgot completely or leave leave it for forever. So this onyomi sound of this kanji is kyaku. Kyaku or kyaku. Kyaku. And this kanji also is read kyaku as onyomi. Kyaku. So notice this kanji has a has the same part as this kanji so it helps you read it helps you how you read this kanji even if you don't know how to how to read this kanji because this is read kyaku and this has the same part that is read kyaku so you can guess at least you can guess how to read this it might it might not always be true but still you can guess so that's something I want to say and another thing is just the uh, just was just as an as a one more example. So this kanji means gold, gold or money, gold or money, gold or money. So as a one kanji, yeah, this means gold, money, golden something. But we have some other some kanji that has this part as kanehen. Kane, hen of kane, kin, kane, kane hen. In the right, with this is copper, copper that metal, brown like metal, copper, red, do. And as like in Olympic games, you have 
copper, silver and silver which is red gin in Japanese is like this and yeah, kin, gold is only this so as I wrote before wait, did I? yeah, as I wrote glass so this means mirror yeah yeah, that's it king I don't know other I don't know other country that has king though I forgot I forgot sorry I think this means record 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 something I think I forgot the thing is I don't use many kanji recently so I tend to forget I think this kanji means something like needle that is sh sharp sharp needle piercing pierce hari red hari 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 yeah so I guess I just wanted to add this. Sorry, this became five minutes video. Sorry, bye.